Tesla is recalling a whopping 475,318 vehicles. Certain Model S and Model 3 EVs from the Texas-based carmaker have safety issues with the front trunk known as the portmanteau front and rear view. Camera display, based on filings with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. A recall from December 21 details how the front hood can open while driving and block the driver's view out the windshield. The latches can come undone because of a misalignment problem. Tesla is recalling all Model S models from 2014 through 2021, affecting as many as 119,009 cars. Those owners can have a Tesla service. Center inspect and reposition the latches if necessary, at no cost. Another December 21st recall affects 356,309 Model 3 vehicles from 2017 through 2020. The rear view camera display malfunctions because opening and closing the trunk over time wears out a cable. The camera feed eventually is cut off and not available when using the camera in reverse. An estimated 1% of cars will be affected, according to an HTSA. Unavailability of the rear-view camera display may affect the driver's rear view and increase the risk of a collision, an HTSA stated. Model 3 owners can bring in affected cars for inspection. Tesla service workers can install a guide protector in the trunk to stop even more wear on the cable. If the cable is beyond repair, Tesla will install new parts, including a protector. Anyone who paid for trunk part replacements or repairs before the recall can get reimbursed for those costs. The 2021 Model 3 uses different parts in the trunk, so the cable issue doesn't affect those new cars. While these recalls are among the biggest in Tesla history, the EV maker has recalled cars for more egregious safety issues in the past. In 2018, over 120,000 Model S vehicles were recalled because of a steering issue with corroding bolts. Earlier this year, there was another bolt problem but with the a more alarming screen display recall from early 2021 affected nearly 160,000 Model X and S vehicles with the front touch screen dying. Luckily, those cars have other screens to control driving, but in the newer Model 3 and Y, all operations are controlled on the front center screen.